Hello my dear violinists, lovely to see you again. Welcome to Pro Am Strings and the Suzuki Learn the Violin in 30 Days course. I'm Henriette and I'm so excited because today is day three. In today's lesson we're going to further consolidate all the techniques that we have learned in previous lessons and we're also going to prepare our left hand ready to start playing fingers in day four. So today is a crucial day and a very exciting one too, as you're going to transition to a proper violin player. By the end of this lesson, you will have developed a good bowing technique that will allow you to make a great sound on the violin once you start to play with your left hand fingers. So if you want to keep updated on when day four is released, please hit the like button now and please also hit the bell button. You can tune your violin now with me and we'll get started in a minute. So I'll play you some tuning notes, the A string first. Next up is D. sound like this. And your E string is this. that you need some more time to tune your violin if it's really out of tune today so just stop the video and play it as long as you like before we move on it's quite crucial that your violin is more or less in tune we will begin by warming up our long bows today so first make sure that your violin is right by your ear quite high on your shoulder and that your jaw is on the chin rest your violin is slightly angled sideways and my violin teacher used to say you hold the violin with a little bit of yes and a little bit of no and that is probably about right. So let's get started on the G string and we are going to play eight long bows on each of the strings going up towards E. So make sure you leave the bow on the string all the time. You don't lift your bow off in between strings or in between bow strokes. As we go along Please check that you're playing with straight bows, so your bow is going to travel at about one centimetre from the bridge. And you're always also going to try and bow your uh, bow arm forward. Um, and this, if this is new to you, please check out day one in this series of video lessons. So here we go, starting on the G string, eight times each note. to the G string, also eight times each bow as we did just now. The difference this time is that I would like you to focus on your elbow levels. So you should find yourself now with your elbow in its lowest position on the E string and as you get to a lower string your elbow should gradually get a little bit higher. Be sure also to leave your right shoulder 
low. Here we go, starting on the E string. slightly now. Leave your bow on the string and raise your elbow gradually so that you move from the A string to the D string. strokes and you should gradually reduce the number of unintentional other sounds that you, you may have been making. If your arms feel a bit tired after all this playing that's quite normal. Give them a short rest before we carry on. You are building stamina all the time and that's a good thing. Let's put your bow aside for a moment and we will work just with the violin. Up until now you have been holding the violin here. In the following exercise, I'd like you to find, with your thumb, the smooth, soft corner at the base of the neck of the violin, so this corner here. Bring your left elbow now in front of your body so that it is in underneath the violin. And now I want you to bring your left hand fingers up and over the fingerboard, which is this black thing here. So that with a gentle stretch, you can perhaps reach the G-string with your pinky, like that. If you can't quite reach that far, try bringing your elbow even further under the violin. We're trying to open up your shoulder here, and that should hopefully do the trick, bringing your pinky towards the G-string. Now we are going to pluck the G-string with your pinky. ring finger to pluck the D string. Then you pluck the A string with your middle finger. And your index finger is for the E string. Exercise will make your left hand fingers stronger and it encourages the left shoulder to start opening up more, ready for when we will be learning the left hand fingers in the next lesson. We will be going one step further now though and move your left hand back to the beginning of the string. Can you now swing your left elbow underneath the violin without moving the violin too much? We are always, as you notice, practicing flexibility of that left hand. And I'm so excited because you have come such a long way on your violin and now you have all the essential ingredients for a good technique. I congratulate you for sticking with me all that time. I always like to take quite a long time on open strings uh, because it, it is just so helpful and it will make you progress so much faster at the next stage. Now we still have to practice our short bowing today. I am hoping that you have still got your marker in the middle of your bow that we put on in lesson two. We are going to start at the heel of the bow now. My left hand comes back to where we used to hold it and we're going to start on the G string. Let's go up to your sticker and back eight times on each string and I encourage you to use your elbow levels and to make sure that you're not pressing too hard into the strings. 
So we are aiming for smooth bow strokes and I want you to check that you leave your bow on the string all the time. So eight times short bows starting on E. Let's check over your bow hold. And here we go. Adjust your elbow level for A. So your bow goes to the D string. And move your elbow up without raising your shoulder for the G string. Next, we are going to play on the upper half of the bow, which is the area between your marker and the point of the bow. Start on the E string this time and work your way all the way to G and back, playing eight times on each string. So make sure you set yourself with your arm already forward rather than like that. So make sure your arm is stretched forward in front of your body. Here we go. Now with a straight arm, move your elbow level up to go to A. Move your elbow up even further so we go to the E string. You go to the G string. And now gradually drop your elbow again so we go back to the D string. Drop it again to go to the A string, all the while staying at that upper half of the bow. And lastly we drop our elbow even further so we arrive on the E string. yourself, why not combine some long bows now with short bows on a string of your choice? Um, let me give you an example. I'm going to pick even numbers, for instance four long bows followed by four short bows on the A string. I'm going to start at the heel of the bow, so four long followed by four short on A. example I'm going to play on the G string and I'm going to play from the point of the bow two long bows and four short bows so I'm going to go on the G string starting at the point two long four short <laughs> long bows and a number of short bows, stick with the even numbers though and off you go and it's just 
uh, stretching yourself a little bit, but very good practice and it builds stamina. I will give you another example. I'm going to play on the D string and I'm going to play six short bows followed by eight long bows. And I'm starting at the heel of the bow, this time six short, eight long. <laughs> today I would like you to review again page 21 in your Suzuki book one so you keep up to date with what the E strings and A strings look like in music we discussed this in the day two video so do watch that again if you want to refresh your memory well done everyone you have made such good progress and I'm in awe of what you have achieved so far if you have any comments or questions please write these in the comments section below if you have enjoyed this video, do please like it and share it with anyone who you think may be interested in learning to play the violin. We are all in this together and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again in day four.